feel like I haven't filmed and posted a video in so long and that's mainly because I haven't. In about two weeks maybe and mainly because I'm just so stuck for ideas like I don't know what to film I don't know what like people even like really care um I don't know what people want to see I don't know I don't know it's just it's just tr tricky and then the other day I went to go get a new piercing and I was like oh I'm gonna vlog it and then didn't get to vlog it because it was like really spontaneously done I was going on like a drop like a I went on a drive with my dad, but like a driving lesson because my test is soon. So we just went out to drive and he was like, okay, we're going to drive into Canterbury. And I was like, well, if we're in Canterbury, let's stop and get my nose pierced because I was going to get it done anyway today. So we did that. So I didn't really vlog it because there was no point. Um, and then I was like, I know what I'll do. I'll make a whole video on all of my piercings. I used to just sit and watch these videos all the time about how much their piercings hurt, how long they took to heal, how long they could change them for, which one they thought was the most painful and I feel like my experiences are very different to people's so I'm going to talk about them all my piercings today so how many piercings do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten did I count these two? one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 13. I have 13 piercings. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have 12 piercings. Um, oh, I did have 14. Like I've had 14 piercings done, but I've got 12 left. I have I have my cartilage here and I did have two more underneath, but I got them done at the same time and they look really like swelled up. So I took one out and the other one healed and I had that for about nearly a year I had it for about a year and it was, just, it was so painful and I took it out and as soon as that one came came out this one became painful and I changed this cartilage piercing to a hoop the other day and I've had absolutely no problems with it I can sleep on it I can hit it I can do anything I want with it so after a year and a few months I finally figured out that it wasn't the piercing it was just the jewelry in it so now I wish I didn't take the other two out and that I just changed them to hoops but I'll get them done again one day. For each piercing, I'm just gonna say like what it is, maybe when I got it, where I got it, how much it hurt, like, I don't know, I'm just gonna talk about them. I feel like we'll start with the most recent one, which is the other side of my nose. I have both sides of my nose pierced now. So I got my left side pierced on Saturday, and it's now Tuesday. So, oh, what, I've already had it for like four days. I haven't even told anyone on social media that I have it yet. So I got that done the other day. I really don't think nose piercings hurt a lot. I got it done at Angels, which is this place in Canterbury, which is near where I live. Um, I have a lot of my piercings are done from Angels. I just really like it there, I really trust them. When I walk in, they're like, what are we getting pierced today? And I'm like, oh no. So I got that done about four days ago. I got it done with a gun, and they pierced it with a stud. The other side of the stud is like a point, a sharp bit, so when they put it through, it goes through my nose, so that's still, there and the first night I actually cut my other side of my nose a bit so that was fun. I would say my nose piercing on a scale of 1 to 10 hurts like a 4 or a 5. I don't, I really don't think it hurts a lot at all. I think it's probably one of the least painful piercings. Probably the like third least painful one. I'd say like lobes, cartilage and then my nose. I really don't think it hurts. Apparently with a needle it's awful. The lady that pierced my first side of my nose told me she got it done with a needle and it made her and she was like that's one piercing i would never ever get it done again she was like i'd never do that again it was awful so i definitely recommend a gun i don't really think it's like i don't think it shatters your nose or your cartilage because i've had both sides done with a gun both from angels so yeah so there's my nose piercings i don't think they hurt I next piercing i feel like we'll go to ears and the bog standard ones i have my lobes pierced on this ear i have two and on this ear i have three of them first ones i got done at claire's when i was about five yeah whatever like i feel like there's not much to say about that everybody gets their ears pierced when they're like five at claire's didn't hurt i feel like i i think i laughed when i got my ears pierced second ones i got done at claire's when i was about 11 and then my third one on this ear i, <laughs> I actually did myself which i really like probably hurt less than a gun i'm not gonna lie like it didn't even flinch i had to do it quite a few times actually because i did it with a sewing needle and then it actually wasn't thick enough for an earring and i did it again and again and again didn't work so then i changed it to a drawing pin you know the ones you put on a board and pop that in my ear and then put the earring in so there's my lobes i feel like there's not much to say they hurt like a zero 
Like, that's not even like a flinch-worthy piercing in my opinion. I don't really think piercings hurt, although my prone threshold people would say is like maybe quite low. But because it's self-inflicted, I don't know. I don't really flinch or think about it. And I also think that like, yeah, it might hurt for like two seconds while it's done and maybe like a day or two after, but then like I'm left with the piercing and like it doesn't really matter that much. The next one I have, I had three cartilages on this ear, as I say. I don't think they hurt at all. Um, the top one I got done February last year. Yeah, so my top ear I actually got done in Leeds when I, me and my cousin were at a baby shower. It was her brother's baby shower. And she kept looking at my nose piercing and she was like, I want it, I want it, I want it. And I was like, let's just go and do it. So we went to a piercing shop, she got her nose done and I was like, I might get my cartilage pierced. So I just got it done. Um, it's like the same as my nose with a gun. I really don't think it hurt. I had trouble with my cartilage piercings at Christmas actually. I couldn't get the backs off them. So we had to cut the earring with pliers. And then I put new earrings in them and they were still, they were better for a few days and then they still became a bit painful. And like people say they never really heal. And I honestly just think it was the earring I had in it. Cause the other day when I got my nose pierced, I got angels to change it to a hoop. And that night I was texting my friends and I was like, this is actually miraculous. Like I can just lie down. Like for the past year I sleep on this side. I've had to like sleep on this side or try and raise it or like just be in pain. And like, you know, like it hasn't been fun, but I just don't want to take it out because I love them. And I'm so upset that I don't have my other two now because they looked so pretty. So cartilage, I'd rate it maybe like a, what I rate my nose? Like a four, like a three. Like I really don't think it's painful. Ones with guns, they're so quick. Like you don't have time to be in pain. So the next one I'll talk about is my daith, seeing as I just mentioned it. Oh, my daith is this side. Part one in the middle of my ear. Now I got this one done on Boxing Day, not the year just gone, the year before. So my mum like sent me on Facebook that it was meant to help headaches and I was like, oh, I'm down for that, like headaches. Cause I used to suffer with really bad headaches like every single day, all day, every day. So I was like, yeah, I'm down for that. And it's piercing, love that. I was watching loads of these videos on YouTube and like my day healing process and piercing and blah 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 and everyone said it was like the most painful piercing and it does hurt because it's done with a needle like a hollow needle like literally take a chunk of your ear out so it does like you can't say it doesn't hurt but i don't know because piercings don't really phase me because they're self-inflicted like i know it's gonna hurt so i sort of like build myself up but it did hurt to be fair and the guy that did it I didn't get this done at Angels because it weren't open on Boxing Day and I'm far too impatient for that so I just went somewhere in Margate which is where I, like near where I live and the guy had such big fingers so we had the needle through and then I had just like a silver bar with two balls each end and he his fingers were so big he couldn't do the top ball and that was like really painful my ear was bleeding because he was like fiddling with it so much just after he put it in and like tugging it and pulling it and so that hurt, and then the same with that, I didn't get it changed till about, I got this changed when I got another pierce, no I didn't get it changed when I got another piercing. I went to Angels and I bought the heart and I was like, can you change it for me? They ch like charged like £2.50 to change it, unless you're getting a piercing then they'll change whatever for free. And I got it changed and I always had trouble with it as well, like sleeping and stuff and it always, you could always feel it, I was always like aware of it, N not necessarily hurt, I was always like, uncomfortable knew it was there and then same i just got it changed and it was absolutely fine it was so weird after that happening with a lot of piercings and now if my piercings ever hurt i'm just going to change the jewelry and see what happened because that's happened with three of my piercings now where i've just changed the jewelry and they've been absolutely fine so i'm always going to check that now rather than just take piercings out so i always recommend that if your piercing's hurting a bit just try a different jewelry different shape different material different just try something else. I have my rook pierced on this ear. I got this done at Angels too. It's the rose gold one in the middle. Oh, sorry, I'll rate my daith. My daith hurt maybe like a, maybe like a six or a, maybe like a six or a seven. Just because of the fiddling afterwards, the actual piercing, maybe like a six. My rook, I got pierced at Angels again with a needle. Um, there was a lot of bleeding in both of these. Like just because it's done with a needle, it's taking out part of your cartilage. It's not quick like a gun, so there is bleeding in both of them. I'll insert my picture here of my rook if I still have it afterwards, not that you'll probably want to see it because it's gross. I would say my rook hurts about the same as my day, similar piercing, so maybe like a six. I do think it hurt less though, so maybe like a five or a six. Again, I had like a silver bar in this one, which really disturbed it for a while. Like it kept causing me pain when I was sleeping and stuff like I couldn't sleep on it even though they do tell you not to so I have my rook and my cartilage going on I couldn't sleep on this side and I can't sleep on this side because it's too uncomfortable and so I went and got it 
changed to Angel's again. And as soon as I got it changed again, she, when I got it changed, she said like, it's still a bit swollen, still a bit red, like do you sleep on it? And I was like, no. Um, and she was like, okay, well maybe this jewelry will be a bit better because it's bigger, because it swells around, it's bigger, there's more room for it to heal and to grow. I really need to go to work. That wouldn't, I wouldn't say hurt too much. I didn't get it done that long ago, maybe last April. So they're all my ear piercings, uh, my nose piercings. Um, I have my belly pierced. I got my belly pierced about three years ago. So I, I can't really remember, but that was really, I don't think the actual piercing of that hurt too much of what I can remember. But for about four days after, I couldn't like walk, I couldn't, I don't know, it was really painful. I couldn't even wear like trousers that came up to my belly button even if they weren't tight just like loose trousers for school I couldn't wear them skirts I couldn't wear them they were just like really hurting I don't know why it was really achy and horrible I remember the day after I got a pierce we had to run 100 meters in athletics and it took me 26 seconds because I physically couldn't run because it hurt that much but now it's fine again I didn't have any problems with changing the piercing after a month I took the top off to clean it and actually just fell out so I just put a different one back in and I haven't had any problems with that since, didn't get infected, didn't get anything like that. I have one more piercing, but I'll leave that one to your imagination. That literally sounds like I have my vagina pierced or something, but not that deep. Ah, that's all of my piercings that I have. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it's maybe a bit useful or if you're just a bit curious and nosy like I am. There's all of my piercings. I hope I haven't left out anything or a rating. Belly button rating. Can't remember. Maybe like a six because of the healing was a pain. Yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. I hope you have the most amazing day.